What could drive a man to such a deadly rampage? This chilling question lingers in the air as we delve into the horrifying incident that unfolded on a seemingly ordinary Saturday at a bustling shopping center in Sydney. On this fateful day, a 40-year-old man, armed with nothing but a knife, embarked on a spree of violence that would leave six people dead and eight others injured. Among the victims were five women, a man, and the perpetrator himself. The injured included individuals of varying ages, the youngest being a nine-month-old baby who had to undergo surgery as a result of the attack. The assailant's rampage came to an abrupt halt when a police inspector, who was in the vicinity, engaged him. Displaying remarkable courage, she confronted the attacker, shooting him dead as he raised his knife at her. This single-unit police inspector was later seen administering CPR to the injured, a testament to her bravery and dedication. In the aftermath of the attack, the shopping center was plunged into chaos as ambulances and police cars flooded the scene. Witnesses described a state of lockdown filled with scenes of pandemonium and confusion. The authorities were quick to confirm that the incident was not terrorism related. However, the motivation behind this act of senseless violence remains a mystery. An investigation into the suspect's background and possible motives is ongoing, as authorities seek to unravel the enigma of what could have led to such a gruesome act. The police inspector who confronted the suspect was praised for her courage. Her swift and decisive actions undoubtedly prevented further casualties, and she serves as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness of this tragedy. As New South Wales Police Commissioner Karen Webb assured the public, there is no ongoing risk and the situation is under control. Nevertheless, this incident serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of violence and the heroes who rise in its face. In the words of Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, the attack was beyond words or understanding. Yet, as we grapple with the aftermath of this horrifying incident, we are forced to confront the reality of violence the courage of our protectors, and the resilience of a community in the face of tragedy.